It is always such an honor to spend time and to be together with you. You hit the play button and you made the time to listen. I know that you value your time and you have made the time to listen today. You have limitless ability and you have the capacity to learn new things to make your learning process little better. Through your attitudes, actions and response, you can definitely move forward in your learning journey. So today's topic is group theory and I am going to explain the definitions of algebraic structure, semi-group, monoid, groups, abelian groups, finite groups, infinite groups, order of a groups and the cancellation clause. So here is the video and let's go into the video to know what is an algebraic structure. So it is so simple that a non-empty set G, so the set is non-empty, it contains some elements equipped with one or more binary operations is called an algebraic structure. It is the structure where the set G is non-empty and it is equipped with one or more binary operations is called an algebraic structure or an algebraic system. If circle is a binary operator, here the binary operator is the circle. Binary operation on the non-empty set G, then the algebraic structure is G comma circle. So this is G comma circle. So this is so simple that G is non-empty set and it is equipped with one or more binary operations. Here the binary operation is a circle and G is a non-empty set and this is the structure that is G comma circle circle it is an algebraic structure or an algebraic system and next one is a semi group what is a semi group see here it is so simple that this is an algebraic structure so an algebraic structure s comma zero is called a semi group if the binary operation see here this binary operation satisfies two properties so one is the closure property so here closure property means if you take a belongs to s b belongs to s then A circle B should also belongs to S and which is nothing but a closure property. And what is an associative property? If you take three elements, A comma B comma C belongs to S, then A circle B circle C should be equal to A circle B circle C. If it satisfies both the properties, one is the closure property and next one is an associative property. Then we say that it is a semi-group. And next one, see here, what is a monoid? So monoid means same and algebraic structure. What is this algebraic structure? S is a non-empty set and circle is a binary operator. And this is the circle which, is, which satisfies three properties. One is closure property, associative property and identity property. Then such an algebraic structure is called a monoid if the binary operator satisfies the three properties. So what is closure property? If A belongs to S, B belongs to S, then the operation that is A circle B should also belongs to S. Then we say that S is closed. For associative property, if you take three elements, A comma B comma C belongs to S, then A circle B circle C should be equal to A circle B circle C. This is nothing but an associative property. And what is an identity property? If you take an element from S and there exists an element E belongs to S such that a circle E should be again A is equal to E circle A. Then E is called an identity element. So if it satisfies all the three properties, then we say that the given algebraic structure is a monoid. Is called the monoid if the binary operator satisfies all the three properties. And next one, this is group. So this is the most important and so simple. So G is a non-empty set as usual. If you take a set, it should be non-empty. And O and circle is a binary operator. So this is the binary operation defined on G. Then this is nothing but the algebraic structure. G comma circle is an algebraic structure is said to be a group if it satisfies four properties. One is closed closure law. Closure law as usual. If you take two elements from the set G, then A circle G should also belongs to G. Then G is closed under circle. And next property here is associative law. If you take three elements, from the non-empty set G, then if A circle, B circle C is equal to A circle, B circle C, then G is associative under circle. Next one is identity law. If A belongs to G, then there exists E belongs to G, such that A circle E is equal to again A, which is equal to E circle A. Then E is called the identity element, inverse property. See here, if A belongs to G, then there exists B belongs to G, such that a circle B is equal to identity element, which is equal to B circle A. Then 
G circle is called a group. So if the algebraic structure in an algebraic structure G comma circle, if the binary operator satisfies the first property is the closure property, next one is an associative property, next one is identity and next one is inverse property. So if it satisfies all the four properties, then we say that that algebraic structure is a group. If it satisfies the first two property, then it is a semi-group. If it satisfies the three properties, then it is a monoid. If it satisfies all the four properties, then it is a group. If it satisfies all the five properties here, then it is an abelian group. It is so simple. That is an interlink. See here, I'll, uh, what is an abelian group? So group theory is uh, discovered by abelian and he kept the name as an abelian group. See here, abelian is a name, name of a mathematician. If G is a non-empty set and O is a binary operation, then on G, such G comma circle such that the following law satisfies. G comma circle is an abelian group if it satisfies all the five properties. First one is closure law. And next one is associative. See here, the next one is uh, associative, associative law, identity law, inverse law, and along with the commutative law. See here, what is a uh, closure law? If A comma B belongs to G, then A circle B belongs to G. G is closed under circle. What is associative law? You have to take three elements. That is A comma B comma C belongs to G such that A circle B circle C is equal to A circle B circle C. Then G is associative under circle. What is an identity law? If A belongs to G, then there exists E belongs to G such that A circle E is equal to A is equal to E circle A, where E is called an identity element. What is inverse law? If you take an element A belongs to G, then there exists B belongs to G such that A circle B is equal to E, which is equal to B circle A. Then B is said to be the inverse of A. What is commutative law? Commutative law is nothing but if you take two elements A comma B belongs to G. If A circle B is equal to B circle A, then G circle is a commutative. If it holds all the five properties, then we say that G comma circle is an abelian group or G comma circle is a commutative group. So if it satisfies two properties, it is semi-group. If it satisfies three properties, it is a monoid. If it satisfies four properties, it is a group. If it satisfies all the five properties, then it is an abelian group. Got it? And next one here is a finite group. When we say that the group is finite, see here, finite means it is a countable. If you take four elements in a set, then you can count as the number of elements are four and it is a countable set. Then we say that it is a finite. So if the set G contains a finite number of elements, then the group G circle is called a finite group. Clear? What is an infinite group? If the set G contains an infinite number of elements, then the group G circle is called an infinite group. If the set contains finite number of elements, it is a finite group. If it contains infinite number of elements, then we say that it is an infinite group. Then what is this order of a group? Order is nothing but the number of elements in a finite group is called G comma circle is called order of a group. So order of a group is denoted by order of G. So if for example, if you take G in a set G, if you if it contains three elements, then the order of G will be three. The number of elements in a finite group is called the order of a group. And next one, if G is an infinite, then we say that the order of a group is infinite. If G contains infinite number of elements, then we say that the order of G is infinite. If G contains finite number of elements, then we say that the order of the group G is finite. And next one, what are these cancellation laws? So this is also so simple. If S is a non-empty set, whenever we take a set, we take a non-empty set and we take a binary operator. That is, circle is a binary operation on S. For A comma B comma C belongs to S, if A circle B is equal to A circle C, then we cancel A through left side, then B equal to C. So this is left cancellation law. And see here, if you take B circle A is equal to C circle A, and if you cancel A from the right hand side, then we say that it is a right cancellation law. So if you cancel both sides from the left position then it is called left cancellation law and if you cancel a or any common element from the 
right hand side then we say that it is right cancellation law so this is about the cancellation law so hope you all guys understand so these are the five properties which are very important one is closure law associative identity inverse and commutative law and let me explain you what is a closure law if you take two elements so if you two elements from a set g that is a belongs to g b belongs to g and zero is a binary operator if you take g is a non empty set and circle is a binary operator then a circle b should belongs to g which is a closure law what is associative law so we have to take three elements from the set and we have to show that a circle b circle c is equal to a circle b circle c p circle c which is associative law what is an identity element if you take one element from set G and E belongs to G, then A circle E is equal to A is equal to E circle A. What is an inverse element? If you take an element from G, then there exists B belongs to G such that A circle B is equal to E is equal to B circle A. Then we say that B is the inverse of A. What is commutative law? Commutative law is nothing but if A comma B belongs to G, then A circle B is equal to B circle A. Then we say that it is a commutative law. Commutative law is nothing but A circle B is equal to, this is B circle A, then we say that it is a commutative law. And see here, if A circle B is equal to E is equal to B circle A, then we say that A is the inverse of A. If you take in this A circle E is equal to A, then we say that E is the identity element. So here, if you take A circle B circle C is equal to A circle B circle C, this is associative law. So this is the closure law. So these are all the five properties which are very simple, very easy. And I'm going to solve so many questions related to this uh, group theory and then it will be very, very easy if you connect this one to that. And next one here is the group theory. So there are five laws here. One is closure. So one is closure, the second one is uh, associative law, third one is identity, fourth one is inverse and the fifth one is commutative law. So if two properties holds, see here, if two properties holds, one is closure and associative, we say that this is a semi-group. So here this is a blue color that is closure, associativity, identity. If the algebraic structure satisfies all the three properties, then we are going to say it is a monoid. If it satisfies all the four properties, one is closure, associativity, identity and inverse, then we are going to say it is a group. And if it satisfies all the five conditions, that is closure, associativity, identity, inverse and commutative, then it's going to be an abelian group or an commutative group. And this is the secret and this is so simple that hope you all guys understand each and every step here is very crystal clear. From the algebraic structure, what is an algebraic structure? If G is a non-empty set and circle is a binary operator, then see here, G comma circle, for example, G comma circle, this is the algebraic structure or algebraic system. So what is a semi-group? If it satisfies two properties, the one is closure and the next one is associative law. So it is going to be a monoid if it satisfies closure, associativity and identity property what is a group if it satisfies all the four properties one is closure second one is uh, associative law identity and next one is inverse so if it satisfies all the five properties see here all the five properties one is closure associativity identity inverse see here Closure, associativity, identity, inverse and commutative law. If it satisfies all the five properties, then it's going to be an abelian group. Or what is a finite group? If the group contains finite number of elements, then it is a finite group. If it contains infinite number of elements, then it is an infinite group. And what is an order of a group? The number of elements in a group is called order of a group. And the cancellation law. See here, A circle B is equal to, this is A circle C, implies B is equal to C. If you cancel A from the left side, then it is a left cancellation law so here if you take b circle a is equal to c circle a which implies b is equal to c if you cancel from the right side this is right cancellation law so these are the laws and this is how we have to keep every each and every definition in your brain so that you can smoothly go through all the problems and it will be very very easy and this group theory is very very simple to understand and this is related to BTEC, BSc and discrete mathematics MFCS, DMS and DMGT. Hope you all guys understand my introduction class and from the next from the from my next video it will be through 
theorems or it will be uh, problems and i'll be uploading very very soon have a look at those and spread the knowledge pass it on to your friends and go through the playlist and every video is ready for your preparation and it will be very helpful thank you so much for staying till the end thank you so much